wholeness and balanced vibrations. I'd like to follow on from my previous YouTube video of this week using the concept of the basics, the very basics of reality transurfing as a reality transurfing coach, trainer and instructor, but merging these concepts with consciousness, with Advaita, non-duality, with many other spiritual teachings that I have partaken in, in my journey to self. And reality transurfing is about dismantling any rigid concepts rather than adding any new ones because we live in a holographic universe. Transurfing of realities is designed as very much an open and free system that you can explore in a wide variety of ways. Unlike many teachings, reality transurfing is a self teaching transmission that awakens you to your soul purpose, to your soul beingness, rather than a structure that is imposed from the outside through a set of discipline or a teacher. In this sense, reality transurfing is an adventure that you can tailor to your own life. This is very free. You can also move it at your own pace and trusting in your own intuition and your own imagination. Life gives you whatever experience or whatever trigger is needed that is more helpful for the involutionary evolution of your consciousness back to the soul self, the beingness, the isness. How does one know that this is the experience that you need? You will never know if you're coming from the mind, from the Maya, from the illusion, from the ego. But the heart always knows that this is the experience that you are having in this moment. And when your heart and mind are in coherence, in alignment, you are closer to embodying the soul self. It is important to give up definitions, patterns, masks, roles that you define yourself with or that others are defining you with. And as you give these up, you start to experience slow, egoic deaths. You won't actually die. This is where people often feel it is difficult to let go you actually start to become more alive as you embody aspects of your true self even more and more. So don't be concerned on how others are defining you because others' beliefs are only coming from their level of consciousness and they, they could be limiting themselves. One motto I always say to myself is, not my circus, not my monkeys. Whenever you interact with people, don't be there primarily as a role that you're playing, but instead be there as your presence, as your conscience essence that you are. And everything automatically rises into place. Remember, you can only lose something that you have, but you cannot lose something that you embody, that you are. You can never ever lose your soul. You can never ever lose your prana, your chi. So transurfing is presented as a voyage, a voyage of discovery to self, and it can help to change your life forever. The purpose of transurfing is one of turning the authority of your mind over to your heart. This alone is the transformation. So one question I would like to ask you today, are you living your life without holding anything back? 
owning and therefore transcending your fears? Do you have the courage to live your life with an open heart, to deeply have a romance with the self? In life, many people caught into the cause and effect syndrome as an explanation of what is going on in their life. They get stuck in the three-dimensional reality rule of stories or what they're going to get out of this box type of thinking. To master it, you need to cause the effect and that is only possible through the use of an external intention. Most people love to sink their teeth into problems and ask, what is wrong? What shall I do? And they create stories around it. This is an old school model that really needs a transformation. Once we begin to look for what is right, our lives begin spinning energetically in unimaginable, exciting new directions. And here is the truth. Every wrong thing, which in reality is nothing but a foolhardy judgment, has the opposite side of the coin. Poverty is the school of wealth, just as lack is the flip side of abundance. Once you have learnt the lesson and accepted it and acknowledged it and approved of it, you decrease the energetic force of the pendulum that you are feeding into it. For example, sickness is the flip side to health. Both ideas exist at the same time. Both are true. But how are you perceiving them is the difference. By choosing to see one aspect, the other equally opposite likely aspect is hidden. Unfortunately, whilst living in the consciousness of space and time, one can only observe one side of the coin at a time. This is duality living, on this side of the mirror. However, it is important to realize that there is another side that is just as real and that at any time you can simply flip it over. And this is when we enter the metaphysical world on the other side of the mirror. So another question I'd like to ask yourself today. Are you reacting? Or are you responding? Or are you directing your thoughts in a way to match your intentions? Looking at things how they could be changes things of how they are being. Just for today, look at how things can be or even say to yourself, just for today, all is well in my world. Most people experience life based on their personal engagements, situations, obstacles, problems, gains, luck, they look at it as a human being having a limited option of experiencing everything. As an eternal being, however, you have already experienced it all. The great you, the famous you, the healthy you, the best parent you, the best friend you, the gorgeous you. All you need to do is to tap into that eternal source of you because you are all of it and then all your limited options become unlimited but until you observe what is you're just offering just like the Pavlov dog response to every aspect of your life by the way in dogs training this is called socializing 
where the puppy needs to get introduced to as many, many situations and sounds and smells and people as possible. Why? Because if the puppy doesn't, then at a later stage, in its adult years, the dog will translate anything new as a threat and therefore react with aggression and fear, lowering its frequency. So let's take a breath. Take a moment to reflect. Do you think that human beings respond to being treated differently? Are you well socialized as a human being? Are you running your life in terms of what you know only and respond to anything new with fear and aggression? What payoffs are you getting from behaving in this way? Ask yourself. Well, as a human being, know that you have a choice from moment to moment to moment as to how you are going to respond to any given situation. To socialize yourself appropriately at any time, the choice is always yours, not your owner's, because you're not the dog. You are an expression of creation, and an expression of creation is infinite and limitless. So every time you create an attachment or a meaning to something, you give it importance. You feed the pendulum of it, and that is your pitfall. So watch the meaning that you are attaching to everything in your life, because when you change the meaning, you also change the story. And when you change the story, you change the frequency, the energy around it. You are now taking responsibility, which simply means the ability to respond to a situation. In order to maintain an optimum state of being, you must ignore a tremendous amount of information. Some writings say that you shouldn't have any desires at all and that did work in the recent past. It just simply meant a way of dropping importance. Dropping importance means least resistance, no insistence. And so the new formula is desire, dream it consciously on awakening in the morning before going to bed at night. Create your play, your optimum, ideal play. And the space of variance, the infinite, all knowing, all being, always created space of variance is the field of power, an unseen energetic force. It is infinite. It isn't limited. And as the old saying goes, you can take an eyedropper or a bucket to the ocean. The ocean does not care because you're one with it. If anything, we don't use the field of power enough. This is an all-powerful force we're talking about, not just some last-minute relief team that comes in to pay the mortgage. The field is not an adversary that has to be coaxed at the bargaining table. Actively see, visualize, smell, taste, and realize, intend a different reality. And surely it will show up. It has no other choice to energetically. And so the first steps in transurfing is give up your power to an attachment. Give up the importance you are giving something. Notice things consciously. Choose what you want to notice. 
Life is the power of feeling and experiencing oneself in every point of its being. And when you get that point, nothing is impossible. Break the old pattern of this present moment denial and present moment resistance. Remember, resistance comes from insistence, wanting to make things right. But this actually comes from a lack of consciousness. Make it your practice to withdraw attention from past and future whenever they're not needed. Take a breath. Come back into the presence. Being brave means no longer it doesn't mean that I don't know I'm going to make it, but nevertheless, I'm throwing myself in. Brave means I know that there is a challenge. and i'm going to throw myself in and enjoy the experience because i'm not attached to the outcome most people really do not exercise their imagination and become free like children most people offer their vibrations exclusively in response or reaction to what they're observing remember it is your state of being not the circumstances that matter and so if you're giving your attention only to this current state of being just like the lotus flower in the dirty water then your future evolves much the same human beings think that they're ruled by circumstances and that things will be like that until you learn how to control your reality. So how do you change your life? Simple. Change the story you're telling yourself. Change the story you're telling yourself. What is the story you're constantly repeating? Repeating into your conscious brain, your subconscious brain. If you want to change, you have to give up that personal history. Drop the ego. Drop the importance. And by doing so, you're shifting your focus away from things that have been tirelessly, tirelessly sucking your energy. And you will create a spaciousness. a beautiful stillness for the beautiful energy to come in to balance if you're like most you only want to see comfort and comfort is what you know good or bad or at least you know what you're dealing with comfort takes you nowhere step out of your comfort zone the power of your fears and accept the fact that you are limitless you're boundless you're infinite and you are powerful and that you are not a product of your circumstances you are not a product of what your mind and the maya and the illusion is telling you you are pure consciousness as sat chit ananda bliss consciousness and truth the information structure of the space of variance may materialize under certain conditions every thought as well as every sector from the space of variance has certain parameters in the quantum universe and by illuminating the corresponding sector the mental broadcast realizes that version of sector it's like walking into a forest and lighting up a certain part of the forest with your torch thus thoughts have a direct influence on the course of events the space of variance serves as a template it determines the shape and the trajectory of the movement of matter material realization 
moves in space and time, but the actual variations remain in place because they're eternal, they're infinite. They've always existed and they always will. This is creation. Every living being forms a layer of its world via its mental broadcasting. Our world is inhabited by many living organisms and each has its own birthright and its contribution to the formation of reality. Just know beauty is all around you until you're awake to see it. Music is all around you until you're awake and aware enough to listen to it. And so we're simply here to experience the physical. Yet our goal is to be awake. Our goal is self-realization, to be aware that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Every second of every day, our beliefs, our thoughts, and our feelings determine what we are and how we view ourselves. So tell yourself an amazing story. We have access to a state of being of pure, loving awareness within the unlimited matrix of infinite possibilities. To engage in this infinite field is our true destiny. Wouldn't you want to be the best person that you know? Wouldn't you want to influence your reality rather than going for somebody else's prediction, limited prediction of it? Most people spend their lives or their walking lives hypnotized by their sensory world, succumbing to circumstances, which binds them, attaches them to the Maya, to the illusion of material reality. But if you raise the frequency, you can change the structure of matter. Actually, it doesn't matter what you do. It matters only how you do it. If you're like most people, you've been trying too hard. You've been too desperate. You've been adding too much importance to it. Allow me to teach you. Allow me to train you. Because Transurfing teaches you how to let the cookie come to you because the cookie's always been there. Many of my clients have often asked me about dropping importance and how they think they're getting confused about dropping importance with being indifferent. It's being the ever-witnessing observer. How do you keep importance low after you meet somebody you like? and you want to date them? Somebody once asked me. How do I, I keep getting excited every time I meet him? And I have just a hard time bringing this importance down. Any tips? Well, the answer is dropping importance doesn't mean you don't get excited. Always follow your joy. Keep being excited. Love being in the love. Love being and following your full, full excitement. Not because the other person brought you this beautiful feeling. Know it as love just as it is. Feel it as it is, without attaching meaning or importance to it. Here's another important question. Do you believe that in order to be happy, you need somebody in your life? If the answer is yes, then you are like a puppet, 
because you're still attached and you're not free. Furthermore, you're not creating your reality, but trying to mend somebody else's reality and that will never work. Instead, the solution should be put your awareness inside yourself. Be aware of how you feel. Seek to think and do things that make you raise your vibration following your joy, no matter what the outside is of yourself. The only thing that matters is your inside. This is where you were creating your masterpiece. This is where you can have and be all that you want. When you start placing your intention within, your external world inevitably will respond and deliver to you. So even if you have a hurt or a wound, and of course you want it to go away, but then you put your finger in it, did that pain go away? No. Is this what you've been practicing with your thoughts, with your attention? You've been feeding it? If yes, then you know that you're the only one who's holding the power to change the scenario. So what are you waiting for? Giving attention to it is an invitation of it. What are you paying attention to today? How much awake and aware are you of situations popping up in your awareness today? Change the why you want something into an intention. Most people want something without realizing why exactly. And so they create an artificial attachment and they actually inadvertently feed the negative pendulum that pushes it away, that pushes the desired outcome away. Instead, when you change the why you want something, you perform a major reset and you allow a new life, a new line of thought to bring you whatever you want until you make the unconscious conscious. It will direct your life and you will start to call it fate. Familiar things are taken for granted. Allow yourself the luxury to experience everyday things as if it was for the first time with the eyes of a child. And so to me, success is waking up in the morning, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, however you're feeling, however old or young, and just bouncing out of bed with a joy to do something that you love to do, to do something that you believe in, to do something that makes you feel good, something that's bigger than you are and that you can hardly wait to get to today. People create their own problems and their own obstacles and then they spend the rest of their day wasting time and energy in overcoming it by telling themselves endless stories about it. And so Transurfing shows you the reasons to all of these problems and how they just lie on different tracks, on different planes, and how we can eliminate these from our lives. And so the real stuff shows up when enough virtual stuff becomes adequately activated by your thoughts and feelings and projections. The greatest skill of all is to be in your joy without an attachment and for you to be that joy. This is your birthright. And from this point, you can create the version of Earth that you prefer to create for yourself. Being and acting in alignment with your calling and your joy increases your vibrational frequency so that you can then start to intend 
your highest intention in that present moment. So you become the present. So I invite you today to unwrap yourself, become rawly authentic with self and allow your infinite abundance, your infinite birthright, your infinite light and your infinite love to flow through you. I also invite you to share this with family, with friends, with loved ones. Wholeness and balanced vibrations. <laughs>